Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, the 21st, October. <laughs> um, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. So today I did some sewing and now I'm sitting in the, my living room watching um, Sweet Magnolias on Netflix. I started watching that a day or two ago and it's a pretty good show. It's, it kind of reminds me of like a Hallmark movie, but it's a show, so it's good. <laughs> but uh, I started a new project because I did finish my... Um, trigger treat bag I don't have my tripod I'm just holding the camera I mean the phone I did finish it whoop sneak peek because <laughs> uh, Petra over at Petra's happy place um, challenged us people who can't concentrate on things <laughs> to finish one of their whips that is the most done so I did and then I went and pulled out some yarn that was gifted to me recently because, uh, like I said, I was clearing off that shelf. I'm still working on that. It's going to take a while. But, um, and on top of the shelf is was some Karen latte cakes. I got gifted two cakes of it recently. This one is a variegated one, and it's called Rose Scented. And then I have one that's just like the purple color that's in this variegated one. But I haven't used it yet. But I pulled out that cake. And I started using it. And I'm making something out of this book right here. <laughs> that was also gifted to me so it's like a double gifted um project <laughs> but it's amigurumi monsters by who wrote this oh it's a bunch of different people i remember that now it's uh each pattern is by a different person but i will link it below if i can remember to uh look it up <laughs> but uh i wanted to make this little monster that's called bb the cotton candy monster Ooh, okay let's try that again <laughs> there's uh bb and the book calls for um, you to use its bulky furry yarn and sport weight yarn for the uh, horns. And then it's also got a regular piece of crochet on the tail and um, a bee hook. And I'm not going to use a bee hook. That's like not happening. <laughs> I do not like using little tiny hooks. So I'm using my trusty dusty F hook, which is my favorite hook ever. <laughs> and I'm using the cafe, uh, cafe latte. What is that called? latte cake <laughs> and it says it's a number five bulky because it's furry uh but it's more like actual number four so i'm just using it to make the monster so this is what i got so far <laughs> this is its body and uh, i'm decreasing now I'm, i just got to where i need to stuff so i stopped and that's ink on my wrist <laughs> but uh, i went, went and got my stuff in so i could start stuffing his little body so i'm going to be making um his the rest of his body out of that uh latte cake he wants a cafe latte and then he does have a little piece of tail I'm trying to show there you go without showing the pattern he has a little furry part on his tail and then you can see his horns and his the long part of his tail are made out of just regular yarn and then his teeth and his eyeballs so um i'm just going to make his eyes and his teeth out of like uh red heart super saver and then use safety eyes as the the black of his eyes and then i haven't figured out about his horns yet i'll probably go to my red heart wall that I have in Jesse's room and find a color that goes good with this like a purple color maybe um to make his horns and the, the length of his tail and then a little puff at the end <laughs> but yeah that's what I'm sitting here working on today I also pulled out I have three of these balls I bought these on um the Hobby Lobby clearance this year you can't see it in the video but it's a pink color it looks kind of like a taupe color in the video but it's red heart um Huga, I always forget to say that, Huga Charm, so it's got uh, like Stellina or something in it, it's sparkly, I don't even know what it's in it, it's a number four, and there's 400 and something, um, 432 yards, I have three of these, so I was trying to find a pattern to make with these two, but uh, it says that it's 97% acrylic and 3% other fibers, <laughs> but it is sparkly, so I was looking up patterns for that, and then I just thought this would be a good monster, because it's furry, and uh, I mean, I'm already almost done with this, and there's still a lot of the cake left, so I could probably get a few monsters out of it, and then I have the other cake, too. The reason I didn't want to make a wearable out of this is because I saw that a lot of people, when they wash it, it gets all matted, and um, I don't want to make something that's just going to get matted. So I thought I'd make an amigurumi, because then it can just, you know, the amigurumi, you won't really be washing it, it'll just be sitting around. And Jesse will be playing with it, probably. <laughs> but um, I just thought it'd be cool to make a little furry monster that's purple and kind of a pink color but that's what I'm working on today <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching um that show on Netflix and relaxing 
dinner's already going in the crock pot. I'm making some crock pot pork chops with gravy. It's really good. All three of us love that meal. It's like delicious. <laughs> and uh, it has cooked for like six hours. So it's been, I put it in at one. And uh, it'll be falling apart by the time Devin gets home and it'll be delicious. Make some mashed potatoes to go with it. And uh, like I said, I did some sewing earlier. So now I'm just chilling. <laughs> I probably should be cleaning. I did a ton of laundry yesterday and I need to do Devin's laundry. His hamper is full, but I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Devin's off the next few day two days. So uh, we'll be getting a lot of stuff done. We're actually going to go rent a storage shed to put a bunch of stuff in that's just kind of piling up. Our apartment's tiny and we're outgrowing it, but we, we're not moving for a while. So I told him that we need to just go rent one of those small, like, you know, it's basically like a large closet <laughs> and uh, we can just put all kinds of stuff that we're not using in it. And then, um, then whenever we do go to move in the future, hopefully next year, it'll be a little easier. You know, we'll already have a bunch of stuff packed up and ready to go. <laughs> but uh, we're probably going to do that tomorrow. That's what I was going to say, but I got sidetracked. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I guess that's about everything. I was supposed to be talking about crochet, but I got sidetracked because I always do. <laughs> but, yeah, so I am working on BB, the Cotton Candy Monster from the book Emigrant Monsters. This is the first one. There's a sequel. <laughs> I can't remember if I have the second one. I don't think I do. I think it just recently came out. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. But also Heather at um, the Crochet Witch. She's been um, she's making one of these. I can't remember its name. It's the big one with Google eyes. I think she's got it mostly done, or maybe all the way done. It looked mostly done when I seen it earlier. Oh goodness, it must be in the very front because I just through most of the book and didn't see it. There it is. Hers is a different color. This one's purple. What is it called? Dizzy something. Dizzy Durky? <laughs> I don't know if it's say that or not. But she made this one. But she made it a, a more ready color. It looks, from her camera, it looks ready. But, um, there's a bunch of really cute ones in here, and I've been wanting to make them. Hers came out ginormous. Does it say? Yeah, it says it's 12 inches, but hers looks bigger. But she probably didn't use, because I think this book calls for DK weight. And she used a curl, um, four. Yeah, this calls for sport weight, and she used Red Heart, I'm pretty sure. And that's like mine. It's supposed to be six inches, but it's going to be a little bit bigger because I'm using bigger hook and bigger yarn. But, um. I don't have any sport weight, I don't think. Maybe like an occasional random one. I just got a cake of sport weight. Um, DK weight. Is DK and sports the same thing? I think so. Um, gifted to me. But I don't keep a lot of little yarns. Because um, four is my favorite. Size four is my favorite. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and get this edited and up. Because uh, I'm going to stay here and babble all day if I don't. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up his little body. I might keep working on him and finish the whole thing up. I don't know. It really depends on what I end up doing <laughs> the rest of the day. But I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.